Hey guys, my name is Ismas, and today I want to share with you this exciting Blender Face Builder tool, a free tool that you can use to convert 2D images into 3D faces. Uh, you can get the tool itself by just going to the, their page. I'll be leaving all the links in the description. You can go to download and uh, I, it's uh, the face builder for Blender. Get the link, you just download it as a zip file and uh, then uh, it will should be able to go under edit, preferences, add-ons and then install uh, the add-on like you would install any other add-on. Uh, it also requires you to download an extra Python library that, that doesn't come shipped with the tool itself because of the, how Blender is licensed. Although you'll find a, a download button here or an install button here that you have to install for the tool to work correctly and after that you are then ready to use the tool itself. So uh, you can see already what I've done but uh, I was trying to create Obama's face but I didn't have enough images especially for the back and I didn't want to spend a lot of time. So after installing the add-on, you'll find it added to the sidebar here and you can click on first preview and uh, let me just get rid of this mesh and then click create a new head. I should create a new head and then you can, uh, in this side panel, you can add uh, the images that you're going to use as your references to align the faces and they're also going to be used as your, uh, they're also going to be used as your textures. So let me navigate to those. And so I have a few images here of Obama. Uh, but uh, you need, if you want to build the, the back face, you, the back side of his head, you also need those. I didn't have any of those, but uh, uh, if you have them, you can add them as well. So then after, they'll be listed here and uh, all you have to do is go and just click on any of the images you have and uh, it should take you into the aligning, uh, the face aligning uh, mode for that image. So you can see the different images here. So let's start with the easiest to align i think this here you just have to click on where on this mesh and uh, then drag the first one will just be to reposition uh, the second one is to uh to rotate other face so let's go to do that and then just align those points uh, that align with the face and that should be good so you can see that uh, the mesh here is a uh, has a closed mouth while here in the image reference it has an expression a face expression a facial expression uh smiling so all you have to do if you want to have that in your uh, mesh you just have to allow facial expressions and then when you drag this bottom lips lip uh, you can see that uh, now he's smiling that uh, means that uh, these textures are going to be well are they're going to be rendered nicely as well onto the mesh uh, so you know you can align Ears as well. Is that Joe? And, uh, you can spend a little bit more time than I'm doing here uh, if you want to get a better build of his face or any face you have. So then we can go to the second again. The first thing is just going to move. Uh, the face. The second is that it's going to reorient uh, the face. Uh, you know, the side should also help you do exactly that. I think that's a good fit. too bad again you can spend a little bit more time than i'm doing here uh, 
if you want to get better results. Last one. Uh, if you mix up any of the points, you can just left click, right click uh, to erase them like so, and then you can uh, reposition everything. So I'm just going to grab this here, drag that eye there, bring this around there. And after you're done with that, uh, again, this is not the best image because now uh, our texture is going to capture uh, this jacket of his, uh, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. But uh, again, if you're using your own images, uh, you should get better images than I'm doing here. But, uh, so yeah, after you're done with that, all you have to do is go under the texture and you can also see the shortcuts here. So. Uh, left click to create a pin, right click to delete a pin, tap to hide or show uh, different pins. And uh, again, after you're done with that, you just click uh, create textures, select all the textures you want to use, and then uh, maybe we don't use this because uh, you know what? I think, I think it's it's okay, we can just use that. So, okay, and then it will start calculating uh, the different textures for you and uh, uh, plaster them onto the mesh. So we just have to give this a few seconds for it to calculate everything. You can also see that uh, it's doing something. Uh, it's even much better than uh, with my first attempt. And again, I didn't have enough textures uh, for the backside. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is something usable. And I think it does look like Obama. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's how you can use this tool to create faces. Again, you can, if you have a top side and a back side, uh, then you can add in that uh, for those sides uh, to get a better uh, mesh so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video again all the links are going to be in the description uh, if you want to, uh, to download the tool